Hello everyone, it's Dina, aka Giddy Girl, and I wanted to bring to you another project organization tip. Um, I subscribe to Crafters Companion subscription kits um, via HSN, and they come in these beautiful boxes. Um, it's hard to, to let them go, they're so pretty, I mean, super cute, but my room is not purple. <laughs> so if you have a purple craft room, these would be perfect lined up on uh, the shelf. They're pretty creative in the sense that it has the box number and what it is already for you on the spine basically so you could stand them up on you know on your shelf but unfortunately I don't have the shelf space because I have seemed to have grown my paper collection again so that's alright thank you Tuesday morning. Um, anywho I can't keep them in the boxes anymore. I need to get them out of the boxes and I need to kind of take advantage of some vertical space. And I, I did have these standing up. The problem is there's a lot of wasted space on the inside of the box and so I needed to kind of consolidate and, and figure out how to manage that a little bit better for me. Um, I'm on box seven so I have five more to go and I, I'm starting to, I was starting to line the boxes on the floor by the shelf where the rest of them are at and that's not cool. So um, I don't want to be that person where I'm kicking stuff around to get by. So I like my floor space pretty clear um, and, and passable. So anyways, I took them out of the box and I'll show you what I did with them. First of all, I do want to let you know that I plan on cutting these boxes for journals. Um, I love the thickness of the card. Um, it's it's pretty thick and so I can easily wrap this up and use it for journals so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut all the flaps off I'm gonna use the bottom I'm gonna use the side I guess that's actually considered let's see the top right and then um, not the top well I don't know what you call it this is the top so anyways I'm gonna use the top the bottom and then this side one here I'm gonna cut out and I'm gonna use it for journals so um, I know that this has a little bit of space here, but I can deal with that. I can figure out how to make sure that gets filled in or um, doesn't harm or, you know, my paper doesn't harm. I'll figure it out. I'm going to use it. So I am going to cut those down. I have seven boxes, so I basically have a start for seven journals, if you will. Um, so that's what I'm going to do with this beautiful little box here. And I am kind of sad that I'm going to lose the pictures on the front and the back, but that's okay. Um, they have tutorials online, so I can definitely go over there and utilize them. Um, and I had already done that because I had already made a couple of cards from that particular kit. Aren't those gorgeous? So, you know, I can find them. So, anyways, here's what I did with the kit that was inside the box. Um, I had these three inch binders that I had decided to save. I used to have all my acrylic stamps in these puppies um, and slowly they've been coming out and being used for various things in more like project folders and things like that. So um, this is a three inch binder. These things aren't cheap. I will say that. I almost want to say that they're about $15. Um, I could be wrong but I know, I know any of your office type stores will have them. And um, so, yeah, I was happy that I was able to recycle what I already have. And what I did buy recently are these one inch gusset pocket binders that have three hole punch. So that's what I'm doing. I'm actually putting everything that's in the kit in these binder folders. The only thing I'm not putting in here are the blank cards. Now the only reason why you see blank cards in this particular one is actually because I have a project started here. So I'm going to keep that in there for now. Um, but the blank cards are going in a separate area. So this is the thank you card that comes um, with the box when you open it. And I'm, util I'm utilizing that as well. So what I've done is I've gone in and I put the box number and what's in the kit. So this is the Aqua Marker Pen Set Kit. And they're in here. Um, the Aqua Markers are in here. These boxes are basically sold as technique kits. Um, so basically they give you everything you need to develop the technique that they're that they're selling you on. So um, some of it's kind of older techniques, um, some of it's kind of revisited techniques. Um, I guess it's the same thing, but it's kind of nice because then they have their tutorials and so forth and you can kind of follow along and maybe you might get a, something different than what you're used to. So. 
um, or you know it's kind of nice to be able to brush up on something that you've done in the past so I'm using this card as my label and then on the back I'm listing what blank cards were in that kit um, and I'll tell you why I'm doing that here in a minute because um, I've got basically stored in a different section but um, so like this one has a five and a half four and a quarter cards and the five by five cards and so now I know what came in this kit so if I'm following along on a tutorial I can basically go to my cards pull out this size with an envelope and then I'm done with it or I've got what I needed I'm not done with it but so that's it these one inch gussets make it really nice this is probably one of the thicker kits this box six because um, it came pretty loaded I, in my opinion and so yeah so obviously this is six and seven in this one and I have another three inch binder with one through five so but I just kind of want to show that to you I think that is pretty cool um, that consolidates I get rid of the empty space that was in that box because I don't need it and then I had an empty another empty box that matches my decorum um, with the stamps and stuff and it was empty so what I did was is I put all of her white card blanks in here um, and I have three categories I have one called specialty cards with envelopes um, the reason for that is is because she has gatefold cards that came in her kits um, she has um, side stepper cards she has inverted step cards and so forth I wanted to make sure that that was all in its own category the envelopes could be a little different in size so yeah I wanted to make sure that I kept that together I don't want to fuss looking for these particular type cards in my standard cards so um, that's why it's in its own um, category um, and then now I have standard cards with envelopes and then I basically in all the kits consolidated all the five and a half by four and a quarter cards all the six by six cards five by seven cards they're all in here in this one grouping um, and the way I see it is if for some reason I use the card stock for something different or maybe it's a flat card or whatever you know then I can I can use the envelopes for something else it's not a big deal but it's just easier when it's kind of together and then last I have another one called gusset envelopes um, they're a thicker envelope um, kind of made to put like the flower cards and stuff in and I definitely wanted to keep those separate because I wanted to know that that had that gusset in there um, rather than try to fish for it in my standard card section so that's where this is the reason why I'm keeping her card stock separately is because her card stock is a heavyweight card stock it is super thick um, I can't remember the pounds on it I just know that they're thick um, I want to say that they're 110 I think actually it's a little thicker than that um, but I'm not sure um, but it's thicker it's it's thicker than what I normally have in my stash for card making so because I usually layer on my cards I don't want to mix that in with it um, and I know her dies cut really well with this heavyweight cardstock so I just kind of want to keep it separate so I can easily go to it and so that's what I'm basically doing and you can basically incorporate that organization tip with any of your others your hair arts um, your tonic studio um, you know I used to be a hair arts a subscriber um, and I kind of have the same system set up uh, and for that one and then same thing for tonic I have another folder and I kind of have everything set up with that one but I just needed I was having a hard time getting rid of these boxes is what my problem was because they are so pretty and um, everything's so contained but yeah I can't store that way anymore so anyways that's my little organizational tip for this one for um, crafters companion easily incorporated with other subscriptions and hopefully um, you found that useful all right everyone until next time talk to you later bye